Hello all. So today I'll be introducing our WJAN4 product. Um, so this product comes in two software. Uh, as you can see, one is gray and one is green. The green one supports uh, Porsche, Mercedes, and Audi. And the gray one supports the other uh, cars like Honda, uh, Cadillac, uh, Volkswagen. We'll send you a compatibility list so you can take a look at all the models that are supported. So <clears throat> the product comes in a package like this with this as the top and it has a sports uh, MMB logo. So this all of these WJA and four comes with a MMB logo, which is our new brand for this. And uh, the thing with this um, product is it supports all kinds of um, CarPlay. So Type A and Type C are supported. iPhone and Android are supported as well. Very nice. So now I'll show you um, a quick demo on an Audi. Let me get this up. So uh, the wire is in here and the user manual will be in this box as well. Simply plug in the type C plug here and the type A. So we have type C plugs as well, but on this Audi it uses a type A. So we'll be using this cable. So simply plug it into the original USB port for CarPlay. Uh, wait around 10 to 15 seconds and a new menu should appear on the screen. So once uh, the the device has booted up, you select with any factory control. So your MMI control, or if you have a controller on your steering wheel, or if your screen supports touch screen, uh, select that. I know. And like so, you're in our menu. And with all these versions, and then if you go to the back, more apps, you can see more of the pre-installed applications like YouTube. And if you just go back to the main menu. So once you've connected the device, um, you see this main menu. Uh, this main menu can be changed in this theme. And uh, the most important uh, thing is if your uh, carplay does not support touchscreen, um, to increase your, to enhance your experience of using this product, we have this add-on for you, which is a simple remote controller with a mini keypad, uh, keyboard. Simply plug in this USB that comes with it into the MMB USB-A. So what this does is, if your MMI controller is uh, a bit limited, the original MMI controller, which only supports knob and doesn't have any touch controls, then this add-on is very useful for you. So simply switch it on when you've connected the USB-A and you can control wirelessly. So this is for um, cars that do not support touchscreen. Uh, makes it a lot easier to type in any address in Google Maps or Waze. And you can even act as a, as a point and click. If you click on this button on the bottom, you can point and click like so. Very easy to use and enhances your experience of using our product a lot. So the first thing you should set up is the Wi-Fi. So your hotspot, go into settings and go into Wi-Fi. 
and then uh, connect to your hotspot that you've turned on. So simply speaking, uh, switch on your hotspot on your phone, set the password to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and connect it on the device. All of these are explained in the user manual in your package. So once you've connected, um, once you've connected the Wi-Fi, uh, you can use any applications that you want that is uh, pre-installed, or you can go into Google Play Store to download more apps. And of course, you can go back into uh, the original interface by simply just clicking into this button uh, named Car and then go back into the system by clicking on the Apple CarPlay button in your original interface, like so. Very simple to use, very easy to set up, set up within one minute and you can be watching YouTube in two minutes. <laughs> so another function of the box, uh, not including the Google Play Store, is um, Phonecast, which is mirror linking, wireless mirror linking, and USB flash drive. So now I'll show you how to connect, uh, just quickly connect the mirror link on an Android. Both iPhone and Android can be wireless. So uh, first, um, if you click into it, it will teach you how to connect. So I'll just do that really quickly. I'll go into the Android settings here and click the connection. All of these are always um, displayed. The instructions are always displayed on the screen. So no worries there. So just like that, wireless mirror linking is enabled. And you can watch any videos you have, movies, or you can even play some games. Just like so. And of course, the factory buttons are um, supported. Volume button, no problem there. On the steering wheel, on the center console. So all factory controls are retained, and you can even use the voice control over here. You need to log into Google Assistant. And if you uh, have our remote controller, you can long press this button on the bottom to bring out, to activate Google Assistant as well. Just like so. Very convenient, easy to use. And another function that I want to show you is the USB flash drive right here. So you plug in any uh, USB with uh, music or uh, high quality videos or movies and it'll show it's detected here and simply click into the video or music and you can play. Very simple to use. And finally in the settings there's a few um, settings here which are very useful. So language, you can choose the language and uh, restore any factory settings, and most importantly, the Wi-Fi. Just like so. And this is finally our menu. And go back into the car, main menu interface, and back. So that's our product WJAN4. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.